so everybody knows who I'm with now. <laughs> the sweetest Maria Sur. Hello, Maria. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. You had your first rehearsal on stage with the cameras today. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, I think it feels good. Mm, the first time, of course, was overwhelming. But uh, I think it went well. Um, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, there's some moments, of course, to improve, but I mean, we will fix it. Of course, you will. You're hard working yeah. always. Yeah. Um, I remember from our uh, last interview back in December that you told me that you're going to do a dance song, a pop dance song. That was it. Yeah. Uh, do you feel more yourself now? Yes, I do. I definitely. Feel uh, feel like in the right place, I think. So, uh, did you make a decision on what you will wear? Did you discuss all together? How yeah. was the process? I mean, I was just you know, I was like saying to everyone, uh, like everyone knew that I'm up tempo girl and that we need to do something. Li like this yeah and I think when we were writing this song like me I, I knew more exactly what I want to do and the songwriters got to know me better they I, I mean they felt me and they felt what kind of style I want and I mean the whole team you know we just got to know each other better and we found I think m my style that uh, that I really like and that I think like it's my natural environment. That's amazing to yeah. hear that you feel more comfortable, yes. more in your own shoes right yeah. now. Um, um, who did you collaborate with for the song? So uh, it's uh, Anders Friedhof, who wrote my last year song, uh, Jimmy Joker and Kill J. And uh, you also yeah. co-wrote that? And, and me. Maria Sur. So it's my actually my first song where I'm also involved in the process and where I'm also a uh, songwriter to my own song. So this is feels also like you know like up, like level up and like uh, feels like more my thing, you know. So this is cool. This is cool. That's amazing. Uh, did you um, during the summer you did uh, how it's called Digilu? Digilu, yeah. And uh, what are your plans after Melody Festival? And are you planning on doing the same thing or something different, maybe? Uh, you mean like in the style of music or? Like, I mean, are you gonna tour? Are you gonna have shows, uh, gigs? Well, yeah, I'm gonna do have gigs. 100% but uh, about the tour I don't know it I think it also depends uh, how you know how everything will be with me with Melo right now and how the song will if people will like it or not uh, and of course uh, if we're gonna write more music so I hope we're gonna work more on my own material and like um, write in this kind of style so then you know because for a tour for my own tour i have to have like uh, yeah i have to have a, a lot of songs to perform with so like i mean i'm and we are only on this way so i hope we're gonna work more on the music after i really want to you know to make a big uh, list of the songs that are really gonna be like you know. I see. I was uh, more expecting things like maybe Digilu again or Rix FM concerts that they do but around. I still, I still don't know about like I, I don't know if yeah I don't know yet. But uh, I'm uh, I'm not doing Digilu this year. So like now we're focusing on the Mellow and uh, I'm also recently signed with the uh, Live Nation. So I'm gonna so now you know I'm have like I'm having like my booking agency for the concert so uh, this is great I'm gonna have uh, gigs and so on but uh, also it's really important to continue to write the material the songs and uh, to just build my you know uh, career and career and, uh, and, and yes exactly how did you write the song you were you in a songwriting camp or 
Yes, we, we were in Songwriters Camp and uh, it was in August and uh, and yeah, it, it was actually, we wrote the song very fast and uh, yeah, but again, it was because we knew kind of what we want. We had a vision, uh, like I, I had the references and I was like, okay, so, you know, and the great songwriters, of course. So it was in a, yeah, it was in writing camp. I'm gonna r tell you what it reminds me of. The style is yeah. like kind of, Becky Hill. Uh -huh. I don't know if you've heard any of her songs. Becky Hill. I don't maybe it's can we can Yeah, we sure. Because uh, maybe uh, it sounds so common for me. Becky Hill. But n I wasn't actually s inspired by Ah, I have this song. But actually it wasn't that. I wasn't inspired by by her. So what was your inspiration then? Uh, I think my inspiration was actually Rihanna. Um, yeah, I just, I, I feel like I like her vibe and uh, her kind of uh, songs has a lot of confidence, self-confidence, you know, which is, which is, I think, great for the, you know, as in like meaning of the songs. I really wanted to have this kind of song this year to just represent myself more on stage as an artist uh, because last year it was like more storytelling about me and uh, you know presentation as me for the audience for the people and this year I like want people I like want people to see me as an artist on stage and I think this song can really show my what I can do of course, I saw what you can do and everyone is going to see soon yeah. what this girl can do. <laughs> um, so one last thing, last year your message to your fans was never give up. Yeah. What is your message this year? Uh, well, uh, first of all I'm going to say like my son, th this year's son when I'm gone, uh, has a very, like for me this song about respect to yourself and it gives you like boost of confidence and I I was struggling this year with uh, some insecurities and you know with uh, confidence and to l with loving yourself and I feel like I really needed the song to just you know boost my e uh, my confidence and energy and I hope people when they're gonna listen to this they can also you know feel this kind of like powerful attitude they can feel their power they can they can be boosted by a confidence. I mean, this is very important. And um, yeah, it's so cool to have, you know, just to be confident and do do your thing. And this is about my son and I wish to everyone respect to yourself and love yourself. You worth it. And uh, just, you know, never like, like always, oh, it's important to be uh, you know, uh, yourself and uh, just being you know n not not to forget about being kind and helpful to people and just like being a human being you know this is so important uh, so yeah because I mean if you are a great person uh, the I don't know how to say that like the you 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 you, you yeah you will get the great things in your life and people uh, like if you treat people well people treating you well of course not everyone but I mean in general you know like I think world works like that so just always stay stay humble and uh, and kind uh, to everyone around you so yeah I wish to everyone love and peace and uh, and just you know that you worse everything nothing is impossible so just keep working my favorite for this heat is your song Liamo song yeah I like Liamo songs well. and we have you know that we have the same uh, songwriters and uh, it was the same song uh, like uh, writing camp really? yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, we're really good friends with Liam and uh, he's so nice guy and um, I really like his song this year so 
yeah, we just really supporting each other and I hope it will it will go well for us. I'm so happy for you. I'm uh, wishing you all the best this year. You're going to do great and see you on stage this Saturday. Yes, see you. I'm so excited. Hi, everyone.